Hello and welcome to my demonstration on how to make, well, how to recycle plastic. And the purpose of this is to eventually make uh, these. These are uh, toothbrush holders, which are part of a uh, school brushing of teeth program in Vanuatu. And we make these, uh, we get them made, they're polycarbonate, um, really quite swish things. But the thought occurred to me that eventually we could recycle the toothbrushes and make these. Um, in the meantime, I've collected lots of bottle tops uh, and also uh, bottle, bottles themselves. If we just take the labels off, uh, they're recycle number two. So we'll do all of them together. And these ones are number Four. So we'll do all them together. Just stop it. Now I've been watching videos online and uh, this is the very first time that I've ever tried this. So I've got myself a sandwich maker, a press. Um, we're not going to make them the exact size initially. I'm going to make a demonstration by roughly half the size just to see that the whole thing works. I've also pinched some of this from the kitchen for some baking paper which we'll put down just to protect the surface here. I bought this online for uh, 20 bucks, well second hand uh, 20 bucks. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go through stage by stage at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll make a couple of samples. One with these plastic bottles which I'll chop up. I'll take all the labels off and chop up and then I'll do another one with these uh, bottle caps. As I say, just keeping the recycled numbers um, in, their, in their categories. So, let's get started. So first off, we'll take the labels off. Oop, that one's already off. Okay, I've got a stack of them now. So I'm just going to start chopping these up into smaller bits in readiness for melting. This is where you buy a shredder machine. I've got a paper shredder, but mm, I don't think it would stand up to this. Now I've got down to the little bits now, so I thought I'd chop them up even smaller. I think I've done enough. At least to see whether this whole thing works. It should work. I've seen videos online and hey, I'm sure they're all very accurate. But there's nothing like doing it yourself. Is what I'm doing today. I bought this machine second hand. I had thoughts of using the sandwich maker in the kitchen but um, you know, I was advised not to use that by someone close to me. Um, so I thought oh well I'll buy one second hand. I haven't tested it but I, I see there's a, a green and a red light there that's a good sign. And, uh, yep, that's starting to get warm. So what we'll do, we'll start putting them in there. Apparently it's got to be, I don't know, 150 degrees or so. And, they, and, I, and the videos I've seen indicate that these are, uh, uh, these are hot enough and they do a reasonable job as a, as a test. So I'll just put a bit of that down there. And, um, yeah. I'll just start drawing these off as well as I put them on so I don't, don't create any, any water, uh, water gaps or whatever, uh, impurities. I'll just start doing that and uh, yeah, as that gets hotter. So 
No, I'm just stacking them up here. I can see why you shred them because um, <laughs> not only is it easier, but you get a more uniform spread of the material. And I actually turned the machine off because it already started to melt the ones underneath. So I, I didn't want that to happen prematurely. Actually, I'll turn it back on now and we'll just see what happens. They kind of melt away to almost nothing. So I can see why you need a large amount to create anything. What I'm trying to create is um, boards around five mil in thickness. Um, which I can then saw and drill much like you would the polycarbonate or just a piece of wood. All right, that's probably enough to start with. So what I'll do now, I'll just take another, another piece of that. Put that on top, that's much. Another piece there. All right, we'll put the lid down, see what happens. Hmm. All right, let's see. I'll uh, give that a few minutes and we'll come back to it. All right, well, the green light's gone off. I've just got a red light now. Uh, let's have a sneak peek. It's been about three minutes. Just about disappeared. All right, I'll throw a few more in there. Oh. Yeah, it's certainly getting molteny. I might have to start reaching for the gloves shortly. <coughs> Put some more in there. Oops, a little not dry. Oops, a little wood chip, do like that. Now from what I've seen online, you can you, you uh, fold it up and then mould it. A bit like uh, pastry, and then you can reshape it. We'll put the lid back down on that, and see how that goes. Okay, it's about another three minutes, and you can see I've got gloves. Even I can be caught. Oh, here we go. Mm, you're getting sticky now. Right. You can get that off there, like that. Mm, it's very, very, very gooey. Mold that in like that, and uh, yeah, just fold that back in. Ooh, sort of, you can almost press that into the right shape, which is the whole idea. So we'll just put that in there, put that back on top. Then we got a bit, and we'll squash that down. Ooh, a bit of a, squash that down a little bit more. Yeah, it goes. Now I need it about five mil thick, which uh, that's probably about ten mil. 
which is just oop, yeah, little sticky. Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> just pull it in there a little bit. Oh my goodness, that does get warm. Just pull it out a little bit more. And give another dose of heat. Now, when it cools, I say you've got to cool it under pressure. So I'm going to get some clamps and some bits of wood. So that uh, as soon as I take it out when it's pretty molten like that, I can put it straight into the press and uh, it can cool while it's being squeezed. Okay. Ooh, looks pretty good. What I'm going to do now is put it over on some wood here we go it's pretty sticky we'll put it on there and we'll shove some clamps on it Oh, you can see it squeezing out the edges here. All right. Well, we'll come back and uh, check that out when it's cooled a bit. All right. We've done the plastic bottles and we're they're drying at the moment but we'll have a go with these bottle caps um these ones are number four yep number four so what we're going to do is put them in the little machine again i'll be very careful without my gloves just place them all in here we'll just do oranges to start with Oh, already starting to melt. <laughs> and the little little rings, we'll chuck them on there too. Let's have a closer look. You can see they're already starting to melt. What I'll do, I'll put some of this over the top. I'll actually put two layers. Put this down the lid. Oop, I can already feel it starting to melt. Oh, we'll come back in a second. Let's have a sneak peek. Ooh. It does look a bit gluey, doesn't it? Here we go. 
It looks like it's really very gooey. I'm just getting the edges and putting them back in. What am I doing? Yeah, it's very sticky. <laughs> I might get uh, something to squash that down with. Good, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll just put that on there, and I'll get some more clamps so that when that comes off, we can plant that as well. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I might do is just take that straight off there and put it onto a piece of wood. Like that. And put that on top. Okay, welcome back. We've uh, left them for about an hour and I'm just about to open them up. All right, look at that. Pretty good. I'll smooth that up, trim it and smooth it shortly. And now the other one, the orange. Too thin, but uh, yeah, <laughs> really happy with that. We'll trim them up and uh, yeah, see what they look like. We can uh, keep those, recycle them next time. So let's uh, trim it down to a square. This one, this one really is much stronger. We'll just uh, square him up.
good. Let's run it through the thickness of it if we can. It might be too thin, but we'll give it a go. They're a bit small to go through the thickness of the machine. So what I'll do, I'll give them a try on the belt sander. Pretty good. Just need to be slightly bigger, but uh, very smooth, no burrs. I'll just make a slightly bigger one. We'll just try a 16 mil right next to it. Very good. Let me just see if there's any burrs on the other side. Just a little bit. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Now that... If we make the sheets big enough, we can just, uh, well, use a CNC machine. Just cut out the pieces, and that's uh, pretty much the thickness we want. There's a slight bend in it. Maybe I took it out before it was 100% cooled down. But that's, uh, that's very acceptable. It does need a bit of polishing up just to make it look a bit smoother. But uh, as an experiment, I reckon it was... Uh, Pretty good.